everyone welcome back to another video so the day has finally come that i'm going to sort out my own nails because as you can see they look absolutely awful so this hand is actually doing okay apart from a bit of misshaping here um these four are actually fine there's nothing wrong with them i haven't filed any polish off or anything they still look the same just grown out this hand believe it or not obviously i didn't put the snowflakes on the things but they were the same shape and length as this hand before so as you can see <laughs> i've rounded them all off by accident i even broke this one and then naughty me pulled it off so it's in a lot of pain before so that's why i've left that a few days and i've decided to sort them out so the rest um of the beginning bit of this video is basically just going to be a time lapse of me removing them i didn't want to do a full removal video because i've done it before so yeah if you want to see how my nails are done obviously you will see from the thumbnail what they're going to look like i don't know what they're going to look like yet because i don't know what i'm going to go for but keep on watching Okay, so I've just finished um, removing all the bulk of my nails. So I just wanted to point out this one here. That is lifted from my nail um, bed right down here. So all that different coloured um, nail that you can see is in fact lifted. So to help combat this, I'm going to be cutting it down as far as possible. I just want to say it's not because of any products that I've used or anything like that. It is literally just because my drawers in my nail room are the ones where you have to put your hands inside like like that like you put your hands in and then you pull it like that i have got a habit of doing this in a hurry which is why i catch my nails all the time and put pressure on the tips of my nails it's nothing to do with any product it's just that i don't care for my nails as much as i should okay so i'm just cutting them all down to as short as I'll go basically because I have no interest in keeping my natural nails as I said majority of them are actually separating anyway so I need to keep them as short as possible to prevent any further damage so I'm just putting them down as close to where they're lifted to as possible obviously the pinky one is in a bit of an awkward situation because it's um it's an odd shape it's not just like the end of my nail so i can cut it off i don't really want to get my tweez my um clippers in and be clipping that far down so we're just going to do it as far down as is safely possible so once i've done that and then just going to go in with my clips and some so i'm going to just be using these and some cotton and i'm just going to pop these on each nail like so with some acetone soaked cotton and then when this is all off i will come back for us to do what i want to do with them okay so i'm just going to sit with these on my nails now for five to ten minutes i'll do five have a quick look and then if it's not long enough i'll do another five um, there is obviously very very thin layer of build me up from magpie on these nails but build me up is, is seeming to be more of a file off solution than a file off product than soak off so i'm not 100 percent sure how long it's going to take but i can just file down if i need to i don't need to get off every single bit of them so if there's a little tiny bit left on it's not going to be a problem um so if anyone wanted to see how i did these nails that i've just took off then please check out my channel because the video of me doing those with magpies full-on tips um with build me up is on there so check that out once you finish watching this one um so yeah we're just going to soak these off and then i'll come back when it's ready okay so here's a closer look of how gross my nails are i have got rid of all of the products i ended up just obviously i soaked it for a little bit that made it quite um quite easy to get off then so there is little tiny patches of it as you can probably see there's a really small amount left here and a really small amount in the middle of here but my nails as you can see are not in great condition they're already relatively thin so i don't feel the need 
to literally file every single last bit of product off because I'm going to be putting more on top anyway so it's just going to be more trauma for my nails so that is what my nails look like I'm now going to go into application of product it took me quite a while to figure out what I was even going to do but I managed to figure it out obviously you will know already because of the title of this of this video so let's get into it Okay, so if you saw one of my recent hauls, you'll know that I bought um, quite a few of these SNA Professional Quick Tips and I really, really want to try them out. So I'm going to be using the medium oval ones. I bought lots of 100 piece ones because I wanted to try multiple different shapes. So this is what they look like. They're a really, really lovely shape. I will probably taper them in just a little bit because I do prefer a bit more of an almond than a total oval, but I'll see how they look when they're on. Um, so I've already picked out my sizes and we're going to get straight into applying them. I'm going to be applying them with acrylic because I only really did the last set with, with gel because it was actually just requested for my channel, not because I usually wear gel. So I am going to be applying these with acrylic because that is my preferred method. So I'm going to be buffing the insides of these with a sanding band, but I'm going to use this little bit here for the pinky. So basically you just need to make sure that anywhere that is going to touch your natural nail is nice, I just realized I'm not even in shot, sorry about that, is nice and rough. You don't want any shiny bits because they won't adhere to, the acrylic won't adhere to anything shiny obviously. So you need to make sure that everything that is going to touch the acrylic or your nail is buffed totally so that's that so i think this one might be a little bit too small for my sanding band as well because sometimes if you use a sanding band to do the inside of the tip um it's really easy if it's too small to end up it will be misshapen and then obviously you can have issues so it's easier to just do this and then once i've done that I'm just going to show you what the next step is. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to size. I'm going to have a look at the tip. And I don't know whether you can tell. Probably not because it won't focus on my finger. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can tell. But this is way too square at the bottom for my nail. And there is a little gap there. Even if I push with all my might. I'm changing my cuticle shape. And I don't want to do that. I want to change the nail to suit my cuticle. So and we're going in with a nail file. And just gently rounding off the corners i'm not going too crazy at first literally just tiny bit by tiny bit and then keep putting it back on to have a look where you're at and where you need to take more from obviously just make sure that both sides are even and you don't get too excited whatever you do to one side do to the other so that now is a perfect fit so i know that is going to fit me amazing the pinky fits lovely anyway. The middle finger is slightly too square, so I'm just going to take off a really small amount of this of this one. And then place it on again, and then hopefully at this point it'll be a better fit. This side is just a bit too wide. I'm just going to do that. And that is now perfect. And then basically just obviously do that for all of them. That one is already a really good fit. And then this one just needs to be rounded off a little bit. And that's the other couple. So when you've done that, you'll know then that they are tailored to your nails. Like you don't need to just try them on and then if they don't fit, think, oh, they're not for me. You can tailor them. These ones are really, really easy to change the shape of as well at the bottom. So really, really smooth. So once I've done that, I'm literally just going to go and buff these and then we'll come back. Okay, the next step, I'm going to use my sanding band just on a really low speed to just very gently file around the cuticle area. This will make them sit more flush. You don't want to do this too much because you'll end up taking off too much product. So you don't want that. But it will just make the cuticle area a bit more flush to your nail and it's really difficult sometimes so obviously you want to place them as close to the cuticle area as possible um but you don't want it to touch so you're really really close and then when you put them on and you go to blend it in 
it's quite difficult to get anything down there to be able to blend and then obviously when they grow out they end up looking quite thick but this just helps that problem by thinning out those areas beforehand so we should have to do it after as well so once that's nice and thin we can go in with application so like i said i'm going to apply mine with acrylic so i'm just going to grab my acrylic and i'll be back okay so here's my little setup i've got my liquid my powder and my tips over here so i'm just going to go in and pick them up i have dusted these off ready and made sure that my nails are also dusted off so i'm not going to have any um dust in the way of adhesion of the products i've put way too much acrylic on this one but i'll go with it and remove the excess after so i've just popped some in there i'm just going to place these at the cuticle area and then push down until it is secure obviously with gel if you're doing it with gel you just push it down and then flash cure and then flash cure each one and then put them in the lamp but with acrylic you can do all of them straight away without much messing about which is why i like acrylic ones so that's that one done it's not going to focus is it there we go so obviously you can still see my um my dodgy nail underneath because i've not used a really opaque gel but just ignore that <laughs> really happy with the shape of these actually they're really cute so i'm just going to dust off that nail now ready i'm only going to do a couple on camera because i don't want you to get too bored of watch we do the same thing over and over and i have got a few uh videos of this already of course so i don't want to go into too much detail because whenever i do my own nails it's always these fall on tips and i don't want you to get really bored so we'll go with it i don't think i've put enough on this one I hope it's alright. Okay, so I'm just holding that down. Okay, so this is what they look like. Obviously, if you wanted to keep this shape, you'd just leave them like they are, but I don't. I want them to be slightly more tapered, um, but I do love the length of them. So I'm just literally going to just take in the sides a bit. I'm just going to shape them to the length of the shape that I like. If they were too long, um, depending obviously, uh, you, can, you, can, you can use like really long tips and then file them down, which is what I usually do with the magpie ones because they are too long for me in my working life. So I only have them the length of the magpie ones, like when I'm not working for any reason. So you can obviously take down the length if you need to. You're not you don't have to have them exactly how they come which is what makes these so brilliant and versatile so i'm just shaping these to how i like them that's a bit better so i'm slightly more tapered that's all i'm really not doing much to them They look absolutely lovely. I really love this uh, set already. Obviously, I don't actually, I still don't know what I'm doing on them yet. I really do want to use the glamour gel, so so I might, I might have a Brill Bird glamour gel in there somewhere because they are beautiful. I'm just using a 180 grit nail file from Tia's Beauty for this. You do you want to get anything from there these come in packs of 10 they are brilliant and they're only nine pound for 10 um including vat i think so that's a real good price for 10 files and obviously with my code you can get 10 percent off which is always in the description but i will let you know now it is beauty matters 10 in capital letters um so yeah if you use that obviously you get 10 for eight pound 10 which is just incredible so definitely worth it i think these thumbs are really long <laughs> compared to my nails they're huge so i'm just gonna file down the thumb a little bit because the thumb is what i'll end up filing out of shape anyway so the longer it is the worse that will be so i'd rather not make that easier for myself <laughs> i have got as i'm doing this video i have only got three days worth left of clients to do and then i'm off for six days over christmas you won't be seeing this until after christmas anyway so I'll probably be back working by the time you see this, but, but yeah. So, 
think I'm going to leave it at that because I do like to have my thumbs a little longer than my nails just because well than my fingernails just because I don't know but I've got I've got quite short nail beds on my thumbs so they always look really bizarre um so I'm going to keep them like that I think so that is the tips or file to shape I really really like them the middle nails a bit longer as well but I also like to keep that one longer because that nail itself is actually shorter than the rest as well so it just looks a bit odd if I make it the actual same length it'll look shorter than the rest so that's that so all I'm going to do now is literally just get my sanding band and obviously I'd usually use a um a what's it what's it called a dust extractor but it's really really loud and because i'm not voice over in this i don't want it in the background so you can't hear me so i'm literally just getting my um sanding band and removing the shine from the top of the nail and that is it i'm not doing anything else don't have to do a lot with the cuticle because we filed it beforehand so I'm just blending that just a little bit but not going too crazy because obviously it's already quite thin from us finding it before and then that is literally all it takes to get these ready for a polish which is just brilliant they're so much quicker than doing a full set on yourself and on other people they're just fab obviously the apex is built in because that is the area that you fill with your product to create the stress point so it's just they're just brilliant I really really like systems like this and they're taking the world by storm i think they're so popular and you can see why so i'm not going to do it all on camera but that is exactly what i'm doing just making them rough ready for whatever i put on top that simple okay so that's all of them nice and buffed now ready for me to apply what i want to use on them so i'm just going to show you the glamour gels they're absolutely beautiful so these are the Brill Bird Glamour Gels. They're all stunning. So I've got I've got one on the way to complete the collection. Um, it wasn't in stock when I ordered. Um, so they're sending it separate. So just waiting for that and then I'll have all of them. But I'm really not sure which one to go for, to be honest. They're all absolutely beautiful. Um, I was thinking the blue because I haven't used it yet and I love blue. But then I don't know whether to go more minimalistic and have... I was going to just have a full set of these to be honest because they're just so beautiful and I've used some of the people a lot lately and everyone loves them but now I'm thinking I might have a couple like this and then a colour or design so I'm going to turn the recording off for just for a while just until I think about what I'm going to do and then obviously you can join me back when I'm ready to actually do them. Okay, so I finally decided what I'm going to have. I'm going to have Glamour Gel number 8, which is this beautiful pinky one. And then I'm going to have Marla Mouse from Magpie. So I'm going to have those two. I'm going to have these um, two. These two and this one glittery and those two Marla Mouse. And then on this hand, I'll have it the other way around when I finally get around to doing them. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not having anything majorly exciting because I feel like this video is going to be quite long as it is. So anyway, this is Glamour Gel 8. Where's my tweezers for me to open it? They are absolutely beautiful, but they are very messy. So have tweezers. They are really going to be your best friend with these gels. I'll still get everywhere. So I have, so this is um, Glamour Gel 8, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, so yeah, like I was going to say, is I have a, a brush that I will only use for these now because it just does not come out of the brush. So make sure that you've got one that you're not too bothered about when using with the Glamour Gels because they are very messy and very, very pigmented. So i have cleaned this brush a thousand times already because i used red in it about three days ago i've used about three other colors of the glamour gels in this by then and it's still showing up as red no matter how much i clean it out so yeah just be aware of that right let me just move some stuff around to get my lamp okay so i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna be doing the glamour gel on those three and then Marla Mouse on the others. So we're going with that. So I'm going to do the Glamour Gel first, just because I'm so excited for you to see it. So I'm going in with my brush. I'm just going to place it. I might be able to paint like that. I need to paint like this. So hopefully it will, uh, what's the word, focus. 
beautiful colour. I used this one last night on a client for a full set and it just looked absolutely incredible. They are unbelievably shiny, absolutely amazing. My phone is struggling to keep up with it because it's so, so sparkly. It's difficult for the phone to focus. Okay, so that's coat one, absolutely stunning. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that now onto those three that I mentioned. And with curing times for this, on the website, um, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it says between one and two minutes um, in an LED. So I actually cure it for two minutes just to really make sure um, I'm using the Magpie lamp when I cure it so yeah I do it for two minutes just to be on the safe side it's better to like cure for too long than not enough so that's why I do that and then my thumb and then obviously I'm not going to film the second coat I will just put it on a quick time lapse. I'm really time lapse friendly in this video, aren't I? I've just realised how many time lapses I've actually done for this video. So here's me thinking it's going to be a long one. And actually, no, because most of the videos are only going to be about 10 seconds long that I've got to edit together. But never mind. Let me know what sort of videos you like, like whether you like the ones where you sit with me while I do it and I actually talk you through it, or whether you prefer it when I speed it up and do voiceovers instead because I don't want to sit here boring you for this long if you prefer the other type of way of doing it so please let me know I like to have a mixture but it's always good to hear your feedback just getting off that excess glitter that has snuck onto my finger so that's the two from there that I'm going to be doing with that I'm going to take it out of the way because my lamp is literally right in front of me when I turn it on it's going to cure it so I'm just going in with Marla Mouse, which is this beautiful colour here. And then like I said, my opposite hand will be the opposite way round. So these two that I'm painting now will be glitter. And the other three will be the gel colour. I just find that these um, tips are really, really easy to paint as well. Because they're such a perfect shape and obviously very smooth any polish going on top just looks amazing because obviously if your canvas looks nice your polish will look better so I love it I'm going to do this off camera because it's pretty boring and I'll come back when I've done two coats of each nail